focus is beginning to at least uh, be on Nigerian women football league for the fact that uh, uh, considering what they've done so far, winning so many laurels for us because of the fact that most of the uh, players that play for Nigeria have been picked from our league before they even jet out of the country to play for European clubs. Welcome you on the show, 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Well, we have to look at uh, Nigerian men football league Super Six that will be coming up in Benin at Samuel Ogbemudia Stadium. That league uh, has really done well when it comes to women, although we don't give much uh, uh, respect or honor or credibility to that league. We need to do that. That's why we'll be looking at it this evening. Nigerian men football league Super Six that will be coming up between six clubs. We'll be playing Bielsa Queens, Delta Queens, Nasarawa Amazon, Nigeria Tells, Rivers Angels, all be playing in the uh, super six that will be coming up in Benin. Joining me is uh, Emmanuel Fashimi and also Abdullah Kabiru. Good to have you guys. Good evening. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, Emmanuel, we, when you look at our women league in Nigeria, we, you look at the fact that a lot of talent have been discovered before they move out to play in European clubs, before they uh, become players of uh, uh, Flamingo, become players of Falconer, become players of Super Falcons. Yeah. You actually get majority of them from Nigerian Women Football League. Now, Super Six is coming up. Uh, well, good one. They have a sponsor now for that league who will be kitting all the teams and also the winner, five million and all that. But the main thing right now is that attention needs to be given to this particular league, especially now we have the Super Six. Let the Super Six roll into the entire league of women. Uh, yes. The, uh, for us, uh, all we need to do about that league is rebranding. And thank God uh, a new sponsor has come in right now, and uh, it's good. That is uh, the first step. If we have other sponsors, more than one, two, three, I think uh, it's it's going to be better for us. And then after that, uh, we, uh, we, we, we do what is called uh, publicity, media publicity. Let everybody know that, yes, this is a Nigerian uh, women's league. And then everybody start talking about it. Even a child on the street will know that, yes, uh, we have a Nigerian female league that is ongoing, and we, we can at least name five, ten players from our league, not just for the men they know. And for the Super Six, it's good. Um, it's, it was better than the, um, the last season where we had uh, the league was average because of the Cast Champions League. The league was ended when abruptly. it was abruptly. But now we have the, the league has ended, and then the top six teams from the groups have converged in Benin for the Super Six. And I, I'm particularly happy for uh, Nigeria Retails, our own uh, Abuja, Abuja based team, uh, which is very, very good for us. I've been, I've been clamoring, we all have been crying that we need Nigeria as an Abuja uh, team, that is in the MPFL for the May now. Uh, we came close last, last two seasons, um, NAF, uh, NAF and this other guy, they actually tried, but for us now, we now have Nigeria who is playing their first time in the NWFL. Now they are playing the Super Six. Congratulations, kudos to them. Even though they don't win the Super Six, they've actually uh, they've actually tried, and uh, and I'm happy that they are going to play in Benin because that's one of the best uh, stadium we have in Nigeria. And uh, for the winner, whoever wins it. It's okay for me. Uh, we have been, we, we've seen a uh, reverse angel. They've won the Nigerian uh, Women's League more than any other team that is there right now. Second is uh, uh, Delta Queens, who has also uh, matched uh, reverse angels strength for strength and players for player. But so far, so good. Whoever wins it rep represent Nigeria in the CAF Women's uh, Champions League, which is going to be the second edition. The first edition has a very bad outing. That was Rivers Angels. We lost two games in that particular uh, event, and then we won the last match. But okay. so far, so good. The Super Six has come. Let's see who wins it. It's going to be the Nigerators. I will be very, very happy if they do it. They're clearly biased against Nigerators. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the best six teams in select six teams from the Women's Football League, obviously, fighting it out for a spot, the calf. Women's Champions League, it's great to see. Obviously, like I said, more media attention needs to be paid to this, like it's paid to the men's one. Like people hardly know women's footballers, even though they're doing so well. Some are even doing well at Barcelona. Like was this is Shola. Shola. like look how well she's doing at Barcelona, one of the best strikers there, but she's not as popular as the men's one. So with more media attention, hopefully some big talent scouts are there watching. They can take these 
young, talented women to higher levels and represent the country on a bigger stage even. So it's great to see it happening. So we'll see how well Nigeria tells you since their fan is number one fan is there. <laughs> <laughs> We've been looking at the NWFL Super Six as before, of course, because we have to talk about the Women's League. It's been a league that has brought so much joy to different family across Nigeria where so many talents actually abide. And from there, we'll be able to separate them to the Falcon and Flamingos and also the Super Falcons. But the breeding uh, space, or rather the breeding uh, bed for Nigerian football in comes to women has been the NWFL. That's where they started from. And as we speak, we also have NWFL Championship and not forgetting the NWFL nationwide, just as we have for the men too. So second tier, third tier, it's also available in women football. We have to always talk about it because a lot of people don't know that as we have it for men, we also have it for women. NWFL board are really doing an excellent job to promote women football. That's why Super 6 is coming up. It will be in Benin City and it will be starting soon, uh, May 16 or thereabout, where all the teams will be converging Benin to fight for this honor. Who wins the league this season? And like I said earlier, they have a sponsor for this Super 6, and that sponsor promised to kit all the six teams and also dole out money for the winner who will be going with 5 million, second place 3, and third place 2. But at least they have something to rely on that, okay, this is the major reason why we're competing. There's something there that will be coming up. And as we speak, whoever wins it will be representing Nigeria at the CAF Champions League for women that will also be coming up. That will be a good one. The second edition, the fourth edition of Rivers Angels, they were there, but they were beaten out of the competition. But hopefully, this time around, whoever qualifies or wins the league here will be able to go far. After all, a lot of countries are hoping that Nigeria will be the first country to win the first edition of CAF Champions League where it didn't happen. Now, we move away from Women uh, Football League, now NWFL, and we've been talking. Let's quickly talk about another set of ladies. This time around, they are the Falconets. Well, the draws for the Costa Rica 2022 World Cup will be coming up uh, today. Uh, well, it will be coming up over there in Costa Rica. All the countries have qualified so far. We have them in different ports, port 1, port 2, port 3, and also in port 4. Costa Rica, the host nation, alongside Germany, France, and Japan. They are in part one. In part two, you have Nigeria, Spain, USA, and Mexico. Part three, you have Ghana, South Africa, uh, South Korea, beg your pardon, New Zealand, Brazil. And in part four, you have Holland, Canada, Colombia, and Australia. They will be, uh, uh, for today, that, that draw will be done. In these uh, three ports, they will be picking countries that will be facing one another in the Costa Rica 2022 FIFA on the 20 World Cup. Good one is in Nigeria. We've gotten to the final twice and beaten by Germany. And this time around, hopefully, we can turn things around. I wish that Nigeria can also get to the final and play against Germany, and then this time around, we'll beat them. Uh, uh, if we get to the final this time around, I think it's not going to be an uh, easy one for any team that comes, be it Germany or whatever. Uh, as it stands, uh, there is a possibility that we're going to have Canada Colombia, Australia, any of those teams in Port 4 in our group. And also, we could, there could be the same possibility that we will have Germany, France, South Korea in Port 3, Brazil in our group, whichever way it is, from the way they are going to pick, do the picking, definitely either Holland, Canada, Colombia, Australia, one of those teams or two of them will be, in, in, our the, will be in our own group, and which is going to give a Nigeria advantage in 2011 we got to the final, we were beaten by Germany. It was a painful one because I, I was actually rooting for, for Nigeria. Nigeria actually played well, but we just lost a little bit of focus at the back. Concentration. Concentration, and uh, we, we, we were punished by two goals. But this time around, I think the girls has actually done brilliant uh, well by qualifying to this, uh, to, to this tournament. We also defeated one of the best teams in Africa, that is Senegal. Uh, we, we defeated them home and away. Um, we actually gave a good account of ourselves. First, we, uh, and now we've qualified for the tournament proper. Uh, I believe uh, we can do better. We can do better than the twi uh, two times we got to the uh, final. Yeah. This time around, if we get to the final, then I think we should be singing glory, glory to the And yeah, if, I, if I'm looking at this, uh, the ports, like you said, it's possible that we're going to be facing maybe Canada, Colombia, Australia, or Brazil, New Zealand. But you look at all these countries, they are very, very good when it comes to women's football, just like we, the way we are very, very good 
when it comes to football, as in women football in Africa. And you look at, yes, twice we've gone to the final. There are countries there that you'll be like, oh, I want to avoid. <laughs> no, so if, if, yeah, if we're going to uh, avoid... Um, okay. Definitely, like, USA, Brazil, uh, Germany, yeah, like, you wouldn't want to meet them because those, are, in terms of women's football, they're really, really good. They're really setting the standards. So if you can be lucky to get a good draw in the group stages, given our record in the competition, go far, hopefully we can do well. Yeah. No, 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 let's not forget yeah, Japan the is also stages. there. Japan, yeah, yeah, very yeah, Japan, yeah. Japan, yeah. Japan, that's true. Japan, for whatever. So, but, but for Nigeria, from every other team that is there, okay, like Spain, who is in our port, uh, Spain actually defeated us, uh, uh, that was the, uh, in the last uh, edition, we couldn't uh, qualify from even the group stage. But uh, this time around, I think with the crop of players we have in that team, uh, I actually saw some of their, uh, play, when they played here in Abuja, I actually saw some brilliance in that team. So it, 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 it now gives, uh, and we prepared very well for this tournament, even I prior the qualification, the guests were in camp early enough, some good, uh, some good uh, friendlies was lined up for them within teams in Abuja here, and uh, it, it paid off during the qualifiers. And now I think they should, they, 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 they should start preparing early enough for this tournament if we actually want to win this uh, particular tournament. But I know, given by our record, it's not, it's, not, uh, it's not looking too far for the Super Falcons to win the women's under-20 World Cup. It's not very, yes, very really far. hope they do, given, obviously, the men have disappointed recently. Mm -hmm. At least women can bring smiles to our faces. <laughs> at least, honestly, hopefully, when they come back to the airport this time around, there won't be any scandal or, like, the previous the time. They were treated the, 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 the last time. Know. And it's yeah. not actually good. So, the truth is, NFF needs to pay attention to, the to, women, these ladies. to these ladies because they brought more glory to the country than, okay, we've won the Afghan three times. But this lady has actually won the Af African Women's Nations Cup of nine times. Mm -hmm. So, and now we are going for the 10th title there in, right there in Morocco. Who says we can't win it? Mm -hmm. You, you don't get the same praise as the men. So please, they should, I, I think the NFF should also uh, give that same privilege to the women. Let them, I'm not saying they should put them on the same uh, level, but let them also be recognized. Let attention be given. Then our league also, we should rebrand this league and let it be something that will be in the lips of everybody. Good one there. We've been talking concerning women football in Nigeria. First of all, we talked about the NWFL. Attention should really be given to that league. That's where we get them from. And also, we talk about Falconet, where the draws will be done today uh, concerning Costa Rica 2022 Women World Cup under 20. It will be coming up Costa Rica. And hopefully, let Nigeria get the best of draws. And we want to see them lifting the trophy. Twice we've been to the final. Twice we've been beaten by Germany. And it is very possible that this time around, third, third time, we'll just be shy away from winning it. It's very, very possible. Hopefully, coach Chris Danjuma and uh, his ladies will do us proud over there in Costa Rica. Now, let's leave women football aside as we quickly look at... Uh, Big one happening tonight in the Europa League semi-finals. Well, first leg we've played and second leg will be coming up tonight. Inter and Frankfurt, they are leading with 2-1 against West Ham and they'll be at home. Then Rangers are trailing RB Leipzig. Uh, well, uh, another game that will be uh, played over there in the home of, at the home of uh, Rangers. Now, let's look at them one by one. Inter and Frankfurt, West Ham. First leg, they actually uh, triumph, and Leipzig too triumph in the first leg. So, as it says, the two home teams must win, if, and even win big. David Moyes, he has really done well this season, but a lot of people are expecting, uh, uh, they are actually getting so much support. West Ham United. Yeah, yeah. obviously, given that the only English team left representing England in the competition. Yeah, the first leg was a shocking defeat, actually, for West Ham. They lost at home to Eintracht Frankfurt 2-1. So, obviously, now they're going to Germany. Nobody could have predicted that. Most people are thinking West Ham, are they, they have an easy route to the final. Some are even saying that they're the favourites to win the competition. So, they really have to show up this time around to turn up. They have nothing to play for, basically, in the Premier League. They're not going to make top four, so they can focus fully on this competition. If they can win this competition, automatically qualify for Champions League. So it should be an interesting one. I think West Ham, 
given the talent they have, given David Moyes with his experience, they should reach the final. But it's not going to be easy in Germany because like uh, Frankfurt, I think they're playing at home, so they'll probably park the bus, given they're already leading, they don't have to go all out and attack, they'll defend well. So it should be an interesting match, but I'm thinking West Ham should have too much for them. So you're actually choosing to us, uh, West Ham yeah. to have a, a, a good day? As a neutral, I'll prefer to see West Ham um, RB Leipzig final. That would be more entertaining. Like, Just you know, like the two, way it is with uh, uh, Champions League. Champions League. Okay. Like two, one German, two good one teams. English. Uh, or, you know, just at least, let's at not least. be from the same country. Exactly. That's your opinion. Yeah. Now, let's hear from you. <laughs> well, for me, uh, from what he said, like the first leg, it was a shocker. I never believed uh, Frankfurt could uh, defeat uh, West Ham United at, at home. But uh, this is the same Frankfurt that defeated Barcelona right there at Camp Nou. So, uh, and coming against a West Ham who uh, I, I used to call them outsider. Now they are trying to become an insider team. Because why do I call them outsider? This is a team nobody actually give that uh, preference, that relevance to. But Moyes have proved all critics wrong when he came in, when he came on board. And now they are still on course of qualifying for the Europa League with their position in the Premier League. Now they are closely following, uh, they are behind Manchester uh, United, uh, who is on the fifth position. They are sixth. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, it's 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 uh, it's a good thing for West Ham United. They are having this experience in Europe. Now, who says they can't turn things around in Germany? It's two one. If they get a goal, it's all square. Now there's no longer a way go rule in uh, European competition. So, which gives them advantage to actually go all out and see if they can actually get a goal. Also, as they are going out, they shouldn't forget their back line. And for uh, Rangers, uh, Rangers and Leip uh, Leipzig, well, it's a dicey one. It's actually a dicey one. I think Rangers will want to uh, get to that final to, uh, to make a statement that, hey, Gerard, in Scotland. Yes, Gerard has <laughs> left. We can also do it. Celtic has got into that, uh, that, that position before they won it. They defeated Barcelona in 2004. So Rangers want to repeat that, uh, Leipzig, that uh, I don't know Leipzig this season they are so they are playing so well. Are, they are playing. They are playing so well. How but well but, but against against uh, Rangers who also uh, they are doing well this season though they might not be there in the league but uh, in the Europa League they've given their all and you know when you give something. Uh, you need uh, you need to be compensated for that. I'm not saying Leipzig should tie their hands and leg and Rangers come to beat them, but so far so good. They've actually put in their best mm -hmm. and their best has paid off. But for me, I don't want all German final. The last time we saw a German final in the European competition was between the uh, Borussia Dortmund Bayern. And, and Bayern, which Bayern I, I actually won the Champions League. Yeah. But for me, no, 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 it's a no <laughs> for me. West Ham should do the unthinkable. And go to the final. West Ham, Leipzig, and Kunku. No, West Ham Rangers. This season. I'll pick West Ham Rangers. <laughs> now it's still Scottish versus England. So yes. they're still yeah. so close. We've been looking at uh, UEFA, or rather, Europa semi final, uh, second leg that will be coming up tonight between the clubs, Inter and Frankfurt, West Ham. Who wins that game? Well, uh, they are trailing. Inter and Frankfurt by 1 2, and also Leipzig are actually leading by one goal in the first leg against uh, the team that want to turn things around, Rangers. It's, it's possible that the Scottish England can actually be got in. Now, we look at uh, Europa uh, Conference League also. Europa Conference League fixture, the semi final, will also be coming up uh, tonight. Marcel Feynman, and you have Roma Leicester. Roma and Leicester, one or draw. And for Marcel Feynman, Feynman right now, they actually have 3 2. If you look at it, it's still open for Marcel because they will be at home. Can they do it? They can score two goals over there in home of Feynman. Who says they can't win tonight? So, Marcel Feynman. Let me, let's take, maybe I should split um, it for you. You talk. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, Marseille, Feyenoord. I think obviously Feyenoord have a first leg lead, three two. But coming to France, Marseille with the talent they have, the likes of Dimitri Payet, Gendouzi, they have some really talented players. So I feel with their experience in Europe as well, Marseille are usually a Champions League team, but this time they find themselves in the Conference League. I think they should have too much for Feyenoord. Even though Feyenoord commendable, they've made it to the semi-finals, but I think this is where their journey will end. And they will <laughs> go out, so unfortunately. Sure. Marseille, like, what, the if, talent, what yeah. if? They because could shock them. Yeah, to be fair, mm. football, you can never know. But given the players Marseille have, a Payet, these guys are top, top. They've played in big, big World Cups, everything. So 
and obviously the Arsenal guys on loan from Arsenal, the Saliba, the okay, and Roma, Leicester. That one is a that's a big match. I feel for the semi final. Now too. and uh, the first leg ended in the draw. The first leg ended in the draw, so um, it should be an interesting over in Italy. Jose Mourinho, obviously in his record in Europe against Brendan Rodgers, obviously two experienced managers. It should be a very interesting match. English, another English team against Italian team. Who knows? Maybe three. English teams who end up in the finals of all three European competitions. But Mourinho might have something to say about that, given his record in Europe. Good one there. Yeah. Now, Emmanuel, as, as the way it is right now, Marcel Feyenoord, if we start from there quickly, our time is really uh, For now. Marcel Feyenoord game, uh, the game is open, like you made mention. Feyenoord, uh, uh, they, they, they lost against a Mourinho side in the Europa League. Uh, but uh, this time around, this is the Europa Conference League. And... Uh, it, you know Mourinho. Let me talk about uh, Leicester City and uh, uh, oh. Roma. Now, you know Mourinho. Mourinho always uh, loves to win trophy wherever he goes. And this is a man who is trof uh, trophy savvy. But if you look at the game, 1-1, one, one, it's an advantage for Roma. And this Europa Conference League, Mourinho will want to win it to make a statement as the first manager to win the third All tier league. of European competition. He has won the Europe, really uh, yes, league. but Europa Conference League was just created this season. Oh, yeah, so true. he wants to make that history, becoming the first manager to win it. And against the Leicester City, who, for me, this season, they, they, they are not consistent at all. And they have been suffering the upside of Wifrend in the D mm. at that middle of the park because there's no holding, there's mm. nobody to do the dirty job Even for, for the likes of Madison and the rest of them to go forward. So which is going to be a, a big advantage for AS Roma. But so far, so good. Both sides have, still has uh, that chances of qualifying to the semi-final. Let's see what happens. The team that wants it more is going to carry it tonight. But it's, a, it's, an, it's going to be an end-to-end -end game for me. Well, from the way it is right now, I think uh, uh, Roma-Leicester is a match to watch because Europe want to see, OK, because of Nigerian factor, Kelejiana Cho, Ndidi and all that. Then you look at Rangers, Aribo, Aribo, Balogun, they are for Kelvin Bassi, of, uh, who just Kelvin won Bassi. the Young Player Don't Award of the season. Ibrahim, for, Roma, yes, Ibrahim. and if you look at uh, Roma, even though Ibrahim is not playing for yeah. us, one way or the other, He's our own we okay. think, <laughs> <laughs> so the games are kind of inter intertwined. You look at all the clubs, just have to look at the best team tonight. Before we go, just quickly, Italia has a match will be coming up there. Italia has a Salanitana, we are playing against Venezia. Let's uh, the best thing win because uh, we have two Nigerians, Tyrone Ebu, he's there. Uwanko Simeon is playing for Salanitana while Ebu, he plays for Venezia. Well, the two clubs face themselves tonight, uh, rather this evening in UEFA Champions League, uh, rather in uh, Italia Serie A. Well, the, <laughs> the joy of Real Madrid, Man City, that game is still on there. <laughs> A lot of people are still looking at that game. Well, good one for Real Madrid also. Good one for Liverpool. We wait to see who happened to be in the final. Who wins it? And for Roma and Leicester, big match. Entrant from West Ham, big one. And you have to give up for Feyenoord, Marcel. Also look at those games that will be coming up with those themes. Well, uh, Kabiru uh, Abdullah Iguzuan, good to have you here. Great to be here. And for Emmanuel Fashimi, a wonderful time. It has been uh, a very good one. I am Adeni Ajishafe. We want to appreciate you for watching 360 Sports on Trust TV. Thanks for watching.